Hi guys, I'm back with an update here. It's been a little over a month now since I first planted my seed. So let me show you where we're at now. So this is what we've got. I planted these seeds, remember, on April 2nd. It's now May 6th, so you can see quite a difference. And uh, these big ones here are the zucchini. These are ready to get outside. The weather has just not been warm enough, so I'm going to keep them inside a little longer. And you can see some other veggies are coming up nice. And some of the flowers as well. I did have some that just never germinated. Uh, and that's kind of what happens sometimes. So I'm glad that I've got plenty of others here uh, coming in nicely. I was able to transplant one of my vegetables outside uh, because this is a very cold hardy vegetable these are snow peas so you can see here I put these out the other day and the weather although it's a little chilly at night still um, they're doing just fine out here so I did have to build a little trellis I made this out of a uh, something I found in my shed and you want a trellis for snow peas because you can see these little curly thin string looking things these are called tendrils and the tendrils grab onto the trellis and help the plant to climb and um, they they like to climb so um, the higher they get the more snow peas I'm going to get and right over here when I did my outdoor video you saw I was planting some lettuce so that is now starting to come up haven't had any luck with the spinach, uh, but I'm still going to give it some time. And same, here's another type of lettuce. I just see maybe one sprout there coming up. So that's what I've got going on over here. Over, over here in my raised bed garden, I've got some sprouts coming up too. Here's some more lettuce. Um... Over here, I planted lots of bean seeds. I don't know if it was too cold out when I planted those, but I have seen a squirrel digging over here, so uh, the squirrel may have very well taken up those seeds. Here's some more snow peas that are just um, sprouting up. And the other ones are so big, because remember, I started those ones indoors in a nice warm environment, so they had a lot more time to grow than these. And over here, uh, these are some green onions starting to come up. And what else? I think that's about it. Oh, no. Over here, I think this was Swiss chard. Some of my labels uh, blew around in the wind. So I think that was Swiss chard here that's starting to pop up. All right, let me show you guys what I'm working on today. So I told you a few moments ago about the squirrel that was in my garden digging up some of my seeds. Um, that squirrel's actually a pest every year. He comes, he eats my plants, he eats my tomatoes, my squash, everything. And um, no matter what I do, I put up a fence. He always seems to find his way in. Not only do I have a couple pesky squirrels, but because I have woods behind my house, I also have deer, skunks, raccoons, possums, wild turkeys, uh, rabbits that are always hanging out in my yard, So I, th and they all of my garden. So I've got to come up with something to keep them away. So here's what I'm going to do. I did a little research and I found out uh, a way that you can deter these animals from coming to your garden by creating um, a little concoction that they will not like the smell of. So it's gonna be a hot pepper garlic spray that I'm going to create and I'm gonna spray it on the plants when they come up and I'm actually gonna start spraying it right now around the garden just to kind of deter them maybe from even coming into my yard right now. Um, so let me show you what I've got here. The reason I have gloves on is because I'm gonna be working with habanero peppers and these are really, really hot peppers. So if you get them on your skin and then by mistake you rub your eyes, it's not gonna feel very good. So I've got my gloves on. I'm gonna be throwing some of these habanero peppers into a food processor here. 
Let me just throw in, I'll put in about four to start. I'm going to blend those up a little bit. I'm going to open that up. Now I'm going to break up some um, bulbs of garlic here. Ooh, those peppers smell hot already. I'm actually going to throw these on skin and everything because we're going to strain it out. So um, I don't think that should matter. So let me throw that in there. Got another one. I was also reading that uh, garlic is a good deterrent for mosquitoes. I'm gonna spray this around my deck too because I've had a lot of mosquitoes coming out lately. All right, throw all that in there. Now I'm gonna pour in a little bit of water just to help it out, not too much. And I'm gonna throw in two more peppers. Really want it to smell strong. I also have this hot sauce here, which says it is uh, extremely hot. I got it as a Christmas gift, but yeah, it smells really hot. Um, I think it's going to be way too hot for me to use on food. So I'm going to pour some of that in and I'm going to put the cover back on. Oops. And blend it up good. Smells strong. All right, now I'm going to take a container here. I'm going to put a strainer in it. And then I'm going to take a piece of cheesecloth. Oops, let me cut it. Okay, this is what cheesecloth is. They sell it at the grocery store. I'm not sure why it's called cheesecloth. Maybe people do something with cheese usually, but I'm gonna use it as a strainer. The reason you need to strain this out is because I'm going to be transferring it into this sprayer. And if I don't strain the juices, then all of this uh, stuff that I blended up is going to clog the sprayer. So, let me scoop it out. Right into the strainer. All the juices. Start with that. That's where my gloves are really coming in handy. Going to give it a squeeze. Squeezing out. Oh, see my cheesecloth just ripped, so I'm glad I had that backup strainer in here. Just caught that stuff. Good squeeze. They are not gonna like the smell of this, hopefully. Alright. Let me see. All right, I'm back. I just finished cleaning up all the uh, hot pepper, habanero pepper, and garlic juice has been strained. You can see that nice red liquid, uh, and it smells really strong. 
So because this is so concentrated, even though it, it doesn't look like it made very much liquid, that's actually fine because this um, concentrate is so strong that you're only going to need a little bit of a little bit of it. So I'm actually just going to pour a fourth of a cup out of here, and I'm going to save this for in about I don't know two weeks when I when I might need to reapply again. So I'm just going to put a fourth of a cup into the sprayer. This sprayer I've already filled with water. It holds one gallon of water. So here goes the hot stuff. And then the last ingredient I'm going to add is just a squirt of regular Dawn dish soap. The purpose of this, uh, this isn't used to deter the animals. What the dish soap does is it um, helps the spray stick to the leaves so that it kind of stays on the plants or on the grass and um, doesn't just kind of go down into the soil. So I'm just going to give squirt. That's good. You don't want too much because then you'll just have a sudsy mess. All right, let me close this up. I'm going to bring it outside and catch up with you in a second. All right, I'm back. I'm outside with the pumper, just pumping it up. Give it a couple good pumps. It's good. Lock it in. And let me just reverse. Just going to walk it around the garden here and give it a good spray. I, don't, I really don't want this getting on my body. I don't want to burn myself. So I'm just going to spray the perimeter here. Since I don't really have big plants, I'll spray a little bit in there. And this is actually uh, a lane the squirrels travel through every day. So this will be a good test if I don't see a lot of squirrel activity over in this area the rest of the day or tomorrow. So I'm actually just going around the perimeter of my garden and giving it a good spray. And smell it already so I'm hoping they don't like it I've also got a couple areas over here on my lawn I'm gonna give a spray where some critters I don't know if it's chipmunks or squirrels have been digging it up that's why I have no grass here I think they're burying their nuts and things in a burrow so I'm gonna try to give this a spray see if they'll stay away from here all right so that's all for today I'm just gonna go around the yard finish spraying a little more uh, spray some of my plants that the deer typically eat and if it does rain I'm gonna have to come back out and reapply that's the only downside of the spray is that when the rain comes it, w it will wash it away um, but I've got plenty here and I'll just make more if I need to all right see y'all soon take care